Welcome back, Sandra and Chris here. We have a very special guest this morning. Yeah, it is so exciting. We are joined by Phil Kogan, who is the host, of course, of the CBS hit show, Tough as Nails, and so many others as well. We're glad you came in early to hang out with us this morning. Yeah, thank you for having me here. I, I love what you've done with the place. Yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. It was Sandra's interior decorating, really. You did a really nice job. <laughs> thank you. It has so that sort of Detroit industrial look. A little bit of that. Is that what right? you're going for? Yeah, a little yeah. bit of that. All right. And speaking of Detroit, tell folks what you're doing here. Well, I, I, uh, I, <laughs> I have just, we've just started um, season five of Tough as Nails. I don't know how it happened. It happened so quickly because the last time I was in Detroit, we were looking for people for season one. Um, Tough as Nails, of course, is honoring hardworking men and women in the country who keep the country running. So people in the trades, firefighters, Police officers, construction workers, iron workers, ele electricians, you name it. And um, six men, six women competing against each other for the Tough as Nails title. And then we, uh, we have a team competition as well as an individual competition. So nobody actually goes home. If anybody punches out of the individual competition, they have to stay because there's a team competition That's and everybody nice, yeah. gets money. So, yeah, we came to Detroit because um, some tough people here. <laughs> for sure. And, uh, tough yeah. men and women. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I can't believe we're on to our uh, fifth season. We we ended up uh, going to Hamilton, um, Ontario for our fifth season. It's uh, the Steel Town, um, not too far away from here. That's actually. right, just I up the road, three hours or so. About three hours yeah. drive from here is Hamilton, Ontario. And uh, we had Martin Short, who's actually born in, in Hamilton, Ontario. We had him in introduce uh, the city and welcome everybody. Not tough as nails. Uh, did, did, did you introduce tough yeah, as nails? Yeah, but he's not tough as nails. Martin Short. Hey, no, he's not. But his dad worked at a steel company. All right, okay, well, we'll so give maybe him that. his dad's tough as Honorary nails. Honorary tough as nails. Now, you've met so many people doing tough as nails. Oh, is there one thing that kind of sticks out to you from all the people who are involved in that? They just don't quit. I mean, this is Cheryl right here. Uh, we were out in an orchard uh, this weekend Ooh. in the episode that uh, airs this weekend. And she's just full of life, and um, they, just have, they just have a no-quit mentality. This is Jessica. She's been in, in the military. She's a mom, super powerful uh, power-to-weight ratio. This particular challenge is where they had to drive these stakes in to hold up the saplings, the, the mm. apple saplings. There's thousands of them on this, uh, on, on this orchard. And there's a guy there called Hugh who has shoulders about five feet wide, <laughs> and he's literally pounded all of these stakes in, you know, by himself. He looked out in the field, there's like thousands. And over the years, he's driven these stakes in. We just had them doing, doing 30. I just learned that there's so many tough men and women who get up every day, uh, who just year after year are going to milk the cows, or they're, they're going to a job site, or they're going up on, and being steel cowboys, <laughs> you know, putting in iron beams. They just have this resilience that I really love and admire. And at a time where we have so many celebrity shows and we're mm -hmm. honoring celebrities and we're fascinated with what are they wearing? Who are they dating? Where are they living? Where are they going to holiday? What about the real people in real life who are real tough? And that's sort of what Tough as Nails is about. It's about honoring people like who come from my family, working class people. My grandfather, who was a mechanic, aero mechanic, and other grandfathers, a carpenter. It's about honoring those people. Yeah, and bring it back the to the people. You know, yeah. power to weight ratio. I often describe yes. Sandra as that. I think she'd be sure. good for this show. Could you imagine? You could be pounding We're those things. We're not even going to talk about that. But you know, a lot of folks don't know, Phil, that you do a lot behind the scenes too, right? I I do. Um, yeah. So uh, I I do write the scripts, and and uh, my wife and I produce the show. So we're um, showrunners. Um, and uh, yes, I, I also direct while I'm hosting, which is a really interesting <laughs> thing. Uh, I have a team of world-class cinematographers. I took the video village out of the out of the show, so meaning a lot of times with the reality shows, you'll run all the cameras through, and you have a board of, of a whole lot of, uh, you can see all the camera feeds, mm -hmm. and then someone's sitting there going, all right, stand by three and cut three, hold four, coming to you four, and take four. And, and it's cut like that, and the, and the camera operators are, are told how to frame a shot, how to you know go a little wider for. And what I do is I like to have really great cinematographers who don't like to work with a video village. I like to give them the autonomy, um, and and they just don't do the video village shows. So I get like I've got one guy who's a world class uh, wildlife photographer. He's not he'd never shot any reality in his life before. <laughs> But he's incredible. Uh, he's just been nominated for an Emmy Award for a James Cameron project. But 
I get guys like that, and and then I give them the autonomy, and then while the show is happening, I can see what's going on. I'll be like, hey, Scott, can you get a shot of that over there? And then I snap back into hosting again. So it's directing on the fly. Multi-talented. It's like well choreographed. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it works. It's fun. It's it's it keeps it fresh and live. And you know, I'm very proud of the way Tough as Nails looks. I was really hoping that our, our team was going to get nominated for an Emmy Award um, for cinematography and for sound because I think it's well deserved. But. Um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have our day. Hey, the show looks fantastic, and we're just getting warmed up here with Phil. He's going to be back with us in the 8 o'clock hour, the 9 o'clock hour, even noon, I believe. So you're sticking around all morning. I am. We're, we're not gonna only going to talk about Tough as Nails, we're going to talk Amazing Race, and about what a, an amazing guy Phil is. He's a philanthropist, and he does a lot of cool adventures. So we'll get into all of that in a bit.